Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I want to talk to you about uh, retained messages. Now retained messages are a very useful feature of the MQTT protocol that allows you to persist data on a MQTT broker on a per topic basis. Now normally when a publisher publishes a message um, that message is sent to the broker and it's sent to any um, clients that are subscribing to that um, that topic. If no one's subscribing to that topic then the message is simply discarded. Now if you've got a sensor for example like a door sensor or a temperature sensor um, that publishes data very infrequently then a client subscribing to the topic for the door sensor or for the temperature sensor wouldn't normally actually see any data until the actual sensor published some data. So if it was publishing every 30, 30 minutes then a client subscribing to that would have to pro have to wait um, at the most 30 minutes before you actually got data and knew what the temperature was or what the state of the door was. Now retained messages allow you to publish a message, have the broker store the message and any new client subscribing to the message to that topic will actually receive that message right away. So in our case of a door sensor, someone subscribing to the topic to that topic would receive the state of the door sensor straight away so it would know uh, what state it was in. Now it's important to understand with retained messages that the broker only stores one message which is the last message uh, published by the client. So if the client is continuously publishing uh, messages with a retained message flag set then the last message is actually retained by the broker and not all the other messages that were sent by the client. Now when a, a client subscribes to a topic with uh, retained messages then the message is sent to the, the client and a flag is set on the actual message that tells the client that this message is a retained message. So the client can then decide whether it actually wants to use that, this, that message or whether it wants to just discard that message. Now what's important to actually understand is that if a client is constantly publishing messages with a retained flag set and the, uh, someone subscribing to it, a client subscribing to it, then the client only sees the retain flag set on the first message, the actual message that was sent when he subscribed to that topic. Subsequent messages sent by the by the client, by the by the publisher, don't have the retain flag set. They don't have the retain flag set because they're not retained messages, they're actually fresh messages coming in from the from the publisher. Now, as useful as retained messages are, um, they can um, clog up the broker that you can finish up with a broker with lots of retained messages and so there has to be a way of actually removing the retained messages. Now unfortunately with retained messages there's actually no timestamp attached to it unless you take the trouble to attach a timestamp to it. Now if you have a read of the um, article on the site I do suggest a, a format for retained messages that you may actually find useful. Um, and I'll put a link to the, the article in the description below. So what we're going to do now is to illustrate the retained messages. We're going to take a look at a Python script. The Python script will be available but I'm going to show you it running and first I'm going to tell you what it's supposed to do and then we're actually going to look at it running. So first thing it does is it, it connects and subscribes to a topic and checks for retained messages. Now at the end of the script we're actually deleting the retained messages so when it actually connects initially it shouldn't see any retained messages. It then unsubscribes from that topic and publishes a message on that topic with the retained flag set. Then it subscribes again to the topic and it should actually see the retained message uh, displayed. It then publishes a new message on that topic again with the retained flag set and remember what I said it's a new message, retain flag set, but we, it's not actually a retained message, it's actually a fresh message, so we shouldn't see the retain flag being set there. And to finish off, what we do is we create a, a blank payload, and then we actually publish on, the, on that topic with the retain flag set and a blank payload, and that will clear the retain message from the broker, and then the script, the script ends. So let's have a look at the script running. Okay, so let's run the script. Uh, the script is going to publish and subscribe on a topic um, test sensor one. And first thing we're going to do is connect to the broker and subscribe to the topic. And let's run it there. So we connect to the broker, we subscribe to the topic, 
and then we wait and then we see that we haven't got any retained messages and then we unsubscribed from that topic and then we publish on that topic and once we've done that then we wait again and we subscribe again and this time we do see retained messages so retained flag is true and then we publish again and we wait um, we receive the message but we though a retained flag is set to false because it's not a retained message remember it's actually a fresh message and then finally we finish up by clearing the payload sorry setting an empty payload and publishing with an empty payload but with retained flag set on obviously the same topic and we do actually receive the message back and, and our retain flag is false and then we just disconnect so very simple script uh, there'll be a link in the video description below if you want to run it and try it yourself but it does illustrate um, the most important bits of uh, retain messages now just to finish off um, retain messages um, are used in some applications um, as a as a data store or the broker is used as a data store should I say if you into home automation if you're into home assistant then home assistant actually uses retained messages uh, to store uh, configuration data for MQTT sensors and it's not the only application I've actually come across that uh, uses retained messages in this way um, for store configuration data now if you are doing this if you are using it and if you are thinking of using it for storing um, things like configure things like configuration data then you should be aware of the fact that retained messages can be cleared um, the administrator of the broker could clear out the retained messages and so you should be aware of that and you should actually have a fallback position to what happens when you actually lose the retained messages and you lose your configuration data now if you have a read of the article on the site the tutorial on retained messages I do talk about a, a system of retained messages where you can actually publish the the um, date of the retained message and whether or not it's um, you it's allowed to be deleted in other words you can actually put a, a flag in there that says uh, don't delete this one because it contains important data but unless you actually do this yourself it's not done automatically for you it's not part of the MQTT protocol it's something that you have to implement uh, in your application so that brings us to the the end of the video if you like the video then click on the like button if you have any comments then please leave them below and if you want to get notified of new videos on the channel then you can always subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so until next time goodbye